Today it is exactly one week until Easter and the Sunday before Easter we like to celebrate something called Palm Sunday. Now you may or may not have heard of Palm Sunday. It might sound a little bit like a tropical holiday or a high five fest because it's Palm Sunday. I don't know about that one. But we're going to read a storybook this morning that's going to help us to think a little bit more about what happened on Palm Sunday and what it might mean for us. So have a listen while we read Daniel and the Donkey Factor um, and we're going to have a think through at the end what it means. Long ago, outside the city of Jerusalem, a baby donkey was born. All the barn animals gathered to welcome this new arrival. An owl asked from the rafters, Who? Who is this? This, the donkey's father answered, is Daniel. As Daniel grew, he played with the other young animals in the barn. One day, as they went out to the yard together, the animals made fun of him. Donkeys sound funny, said the owlet. The calf said, they are dirty too. Donkeys are unclean. The colt replied, warriors ride horses because horses are better in battle. Yeah, what good are donkeys? They all laughed together. Joshua the lamb stood close by. Please stop, everybody, he pleaded. You're not being very nice. So the animals just started to tease Joshua too. Back inside the barn, Daniel's parents could tell that something was wrong. Why are you so sad? They asked. Daniel replied, is it true that donkeys are unclean? Why are horses better in battle? Why does everyone except Joshua make fun of me? Oh, Daniel, his mother said, let me tell you a story. Many years ago, God made everything and all of us to be different. We just have to find that special way that we are to serve God. Donkeys are considered unclean under God's law. Yet he loves us so much that he made a way for us to serve him. Did you know that the prophets, priests and kings ride donkeys? Donkeys carry very important people. Really, Daniel wondered? But we sound so funny. Hee-haw. Yes, Daniel, we do. But God once used a donkey to speak to a prophet. God can use anyone, Daniel. He can use you. How? Daniel asked. One day you will know. Until then, we will teach you and show you the way. Months later, many people came to Jerusalem to celebrate a holiday called the Passover. Daniel and his mother heard they were going into the city with the owner to get food for the party. While they waited outside the barn, two strange men appeared. They told Daniel's owner that the Lord needed to use Daniel and his mother. This frightened Daniel. He did not know these men or what they would do. Hee-haw, hee-haw, Daniel brayed in fear. His mother said, Daniel, do not be afraid. These men are with a special man who teaches about God. He is kind. I know that we can trust him. Follow me. Suddenly a different man appeared. This man gently reached up and scratched Daniel behind his ears. He lowered his head and hugged Daniel's neck. Daniel was no longer afraid. He looked up and saw his mother looking at him. The other men led Daniel's mother toward the city. Daniel followed with the man riding on his back. Jerusalem was crowded. People were all around. Some of them took off their coats and laid them in the path. Other people grabbed palm branches and spread them along the path. Daniel heard Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. On the way to the temple, Daniel learned the man's name. It's Jesus. Later that night, Daniel was so excited. He told the story over and over to the amazement of his friends. This time they did not tease him. Several days later, Daniel and his mother returned to the city. Maybe Daniel would get to see Jesus again. As they got close, Daniel noticed a change. Something was wrong. On a scary looking hill with three crosses, Daniel heard some people talking. Some were crying, some were even yelling. Soldiers were everywhere. Jesus, who had ridden on Daniel just a few days ago, was in the middle of the cross. He didn't understand. Back home, Daniel asked, why were people mean to Jesus? Daniel's mother replied, remember when I told you that God provided a way for the donkey to serve him? Yes, Daniel answered, I will always remember that story. Good, now I'll tell you a little more. Joshua the lamb stood up for you when your friends teased you. That's like what God did for donkeys. Because you are unclean, he allowed a lamb to take our place. Today you saw the very same thing happen for people. They disobeyed God, so now they're unclean. Still, he loves them so much that he made a way for them to serve him too. Jesus is our lamb and you, Daniel, carried him, the prophet, priest and king. We're going to pause the story here because we're running out of time. But if you'd like to read the rest of it, you can come along to church in the morning or in the afternoon and we'll have a look about how the story ends. It's a true story about Jesus. 
We've just heard this storybook about Daniel the donkey and of course this isn't the Bible. It's just a story based on the Bible um, but we know from God's word that Jesus was welcomed like a king on this day even though he was riding on a donkey and we're looking forward to the day when he comes again triumphantly when every knee is going to bow and worship him as king. Of course this is going to be a day when we are all called home to heaven. This Easter we really encourage you to be talking to your friends and family about the fact that this day is going to come Jesus is going to come back and everyone is going to know that he is the king. So think through this week how you can be encouraging your friends and your family to love Jesus more and worship him as the true king before he returns triumphantly. May, way, way, way more triumphantly than on a donkey.